Okay, so Lutopia updated and has added four new UGC items that is available for a limited time. Two you can get today, and then the other two, as you see on the dates, will be on February 9th for the shirt or sweater, and then the 16th, the week after of that sweater is the pants. So you're going to have to wait for those to come up, but they have one month availability. So these goggles and the jacket will disappear on March 1st, and then you can see everything else after that. So the easiest one is the goggles, of course, um, but the rest are 3D clothing. So if you want to keep the goggles and the shirt, but the other, other, the other items will be uh, layer clothing. So the goggles you can see there, and then the other two item, three items: the sweater, the proper jacket, sweater, and the pants. All three clothing. So if you don't care about those, sure, but it's not that hard to do anyway. So let's go about how to get the goggles first. Uh, the goggles, you have to go ahead and do the tutorial. So it should be pretty simple to follow along and just follow the arrows. I'm pretty sure all I want you to do is talk to like, go to these NPCs and stuff. And then like you have to go pick up these uh these orbs. So these orbs they do respawn, but uh, only when you uh, leave the game. I'm pretty sure, and you only need to touch them right once you touch them they will drop either a piece of clothing a texture or a color so you just want to run the map a bunch of times you get xp when you pick up an orb and you get money and stuff so you just look, look look around the map look for orbs touch them and uh yeah that's pretty much how it works at the moment then after that once you pick up these orbs and get the colors and all that stuff you head back to the machine here you could just click the button over there or just go to it you click on create so I'll create a pants here let's do uh do this color and then let's do this texture click create get a pants and you're going to go ahead and add it to your collection here now Mine is scuffed. I don't know. I'm not getting any of the prizes in my inventory. Usually it's supposed to, but I think the update broke it from this recording. So I don't know what to say about that. But after that, and you do all the tutorial missions, it will go and give you the goggles in your inventory. Now, the other thing is the puffer jacket. The puffer jacket is to trade somebody. So once you finish the tutorial, you can have this button here. And you can turn it on and off. So turn it on and off. And then you have a button above your head. So when you go and walk near somebody at the same circle above their head, you hold down E to interact. Then you can trade somebody, uh, basically. And then you'll get the puffer jacket from doing that. You have to be, for me, it doesn't work because none of the items pop up in my inventory. I, I can craft them, but I don't see them. So it's just, it's just scuffed. I don't know what to say about that. Now, the other two prizes to earn the pants and well, the sweater and the pants the sweater they get to level 10 and the pants you get to level 20 which is seems like a lot but actually it's not that bad so every time you level up you get plus one in your inventory up to 24 and so eventually you'll get the orb so often that you can you never need to go back because usually you think oh it's going to take a long time to uh, you know, create a bunch of clothing and then to reset your inventory, right? But that's not the case. So once you run around, like, you just gotta run around like this. You don't have to wait at the orb. Just run. Pick up a scooter, basically. Go around the map as fast as possible. And just, you know, just touch an orb for one time and then just go to the next orb. Of course, you have to wait for the orb to open up and then you can touch the next one. But you just run around like this example and you get XP. Like open like five five orbs would give you uh, enough to level up basically. So just keep doing this, and you'll get level the level pretty easily, like so. Then you head over here to the machine, and you could create clothing. Creating clothing gives you like fifteen XP. No wait, it doesn't give you XP. But if you recycle clothing like so, uh, it gives you. Oops, it gives you. Uh, like 15 XP, right? But that's fine. It's not a lot. But what you can do to make this faster, you go to create. And when you click on this, if you have multiple items, so I have three of these shirts, click on this button here, and you can recycle it. It only can do uh, only remove duplicates. So click on this, remove that, click on this, move that. And this gives you two, three XP per click. 
So we have four of this, so we click on this one time, three plus three, plus nine plus nine. So go ahead and do that. And this will this will free up your inventory only if you have duplicates of that one item. So just keep doing this. Again, you get XP as well, and this makes it a lot faster than just making a bunch of clothing and all that good stuff. So you can see here, I'm gonna create this shirt. It won't work though. I don't know what to say, but my game is scuffed. I deleted this and it still came back. Oh wait, never mind. What? Yeah, I don't know. Man, my game is bad. Anyways, so that being said, hopefully you guys find that useful. Get to level twenty, you can go to different worlds once you level up. So I think, uh, yeah, Rainbow Fields at level ten which and then fabric force at 20 and a neon studio at 30 rainbow F rainbow field is really good to grind for levels it's very easy so you pick up a scooter and just run around in circles like i said the orbs don't respawn unless you go to the machine so you want to make sure if you have no more orbs in rainbow just either uh, fall off the map actually don't fall off the map that you don't respawn i don't think you just want to go back to the portal and then so you spawn over here and just go back inside and travel again. And then just keep farming until your inventory is full and then do the thing I just did to reset all your uh, fra your fabrics and stuff. But my game is doesn't work for some reason, so it kind of sucks. But anyways, this is all the prizes. Hopefully this helps. And uh, yeah, back to sponsored events. Here it is, I guess.